Alvin splits his time between the students pretty evenly, and by the time the hour's over, I feel more confident about my studies. So it doesn't do anything for you, it's just a waste of time? It's to review what you've already done. You would think that would help your intelligence, but no. Good morning! I greet Dale cheerfully as I enter the studio. Oh, uh, for now. Hey, his voice wasn't that far off. Dale's expression looks it's like totally a mix of dread and annoyance. What's wrong? He forces a laugh and shakes his head. Everything. Now, put on a good smile. Yeah, okay, maybe it's totally off. The door to the studio opens to reveal an elegant woman with a stern look on her face. Bitch face! Total bitch face! Her gaze moves quickly and precisely across the studio as she examines everything. Things appear to be satisfactory until she lays her eyes on me. Dale, who is this? Madeline, this is Sean Gooden. Sean? The makeup artist for today. Her name is Sean? Is that how to pronounce it? That's how he pronounced it. Okay. How did we go back? Mouse wheel up. Was that it? Dale, who is this? Madeline, this is Sean Gooden. Yeah! She's the makeup artist for today. Dale, Ma <laughs> Madeline, Dale, Madeline, Dale, Madeline. <laughs> okay. Dale, Madeline, Dale. Stop Madeline. it! You're making this me sick. Good. She'll be the makeup artist for today. Madeline, this is Sean Good. <laughs> She'll be the makeup. Artist. <laughs> Her last name still is Good, which is good <laughs> enough, I guess. We are that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Dale, Sean. So her name is Sean. Madeline Dale, Madeline Dale. Why is it spelled that way? I mean, and it's a boy's name. Whatever. Maybe, maybe they spelled it that way so it'd be a girl's name. <sighs> that's when they throw in extra eyes and oh yeah, I guess it's an extra eye. Madeline strides across the room with quick, precise steps. Her shoes tap against the hard floor in perfectly timed beats. I've seen that stride on the catwalk more than once. There's no doubt she had extensive experience as a model. How old are you? Where did you train? What are your credits? I'm 18. I trained over my mom. Dale. Dale tightens his fist, but he responds in a curt, professional voice. Her work speaks for itself. That does not sound like a child who learned how to put on makeup from her mommy. This isn't prom night. I know what it is. She sounds just like that lady that was taking our things. It's, this guy sounds like that, uh, the TA kind of. Mm. I also worked as assistant makeup artist on the Ancient World movie along with its sequel, Forbidden Island. This is like a porn. Mad <laughs> no, just her eyebrow. <laughs> Two films. And I recently did work on the pilot presentation for Lloyd New. The atmosphere suddenly warms and Madeline's expression turns sweet. That new show they're talking about casting soon? Oh, sweetie, why didn't you say so? It's a delight to meet you. Wow, her name is so brown. Madeline her back to the door. Matthew! Matthew? Don't tell me. A tall, slender figure appears at the door. Oh, God. <laughs> no one. Yes, mother. <laughs> It's the opposite of Bates Motel Bates. <laughs> she wanted a tall model child, but turned out to be a damn it. Mother! I cast my hand over my mouth to keep him screaming. That shy kid is related to this woman? Well, no shit, it makes sense. Madeline weighs him over. This is your new makeup artist, Sean Gooden. She works with Lloyd Newton. Isn't that exciting? Come greet her. Something about these voices just sounds so fake. And I don't know what it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's definitely better than ours. Matthews glides across the floor towards me. The steps are perfect and precise as his mother's, almost Zoidberg like. Well, um, can you glide I? and step at the same time? I figure gliding is like when you do an ice. Yes, but technically, but there's a, what people consider a gliding stuff. It's very smooth. You know, mm. like when you see in the old movies, there's a woman with books on her head. It's to make sure that she's precise and balanced as she walks. So I she thought doesn't... she was trying to absorb knowledge. Like how you put uh, stamps over your belly button to suffocate babies. <laughs> I mean, books on the head, st you know, stamps over the belly button. Hey! It all makes sense together. Yeah. Um, hi? I offer him a handshake. He takes my hand in his and lifts it to his lips. With a gentle bow of his head, he kisses the back of my hand, then licks it, nibbles it a little just for fun. 
throw some salt on it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Muskerton. I look forward to working with you. And actually, it makes me wonder what these voices really sound like. But that's okay. If somebody wants to know, then they can play the game. Yep. He releases my hand slowly. All right, now that introductions are out of the way, let's get to work. Dale turns to Matt. Let's look over the plans for today's shoot, shall we? I'm sure Sean can handle her side of the job. That sounds like a tongue twister. Today's shoot, shall we? I'm sure Sean. <laughs> Madeline hesitates for a brief moment before following Dale to the shooting area. Is she still unsure about me? I turn to Matthew. Um, this way, I guess. I, I, I'm in your capable hands. Don't drop me. Please don't drop me. <laughs> Matthew sits at the makeup station with a single fluid motion. He looks at me expectantly. I begin my work in silence. He sits calmly, following each of my requests to turn his head or close his eyes. Instead of going, No, I'm not gonna turn my head, I'm not gonna close my eyes. You gotta do it with my eyes open, bitch. So then you're on the phone. Oh yeah, actually that's good. Everything he does has a cool, polished air to it. Hold on, let me tweet, tweet this real quick. Is this really the same guy who was tripping all over himself at the mall the other day? Should I strike up a conversation? Let's see, ask about his girlfriend. No. Talk about the mall. Eh, keep working. Uh, okay, let's talk about bitch face. So, um, where's your girlfriend? Y you mean Nicole? Yeah. I was wondering if she was going to come with you or not. Nicole barely finds each the interest in these photo shoots. They're tedious for someone not involved. Oh, okay. Well, she seems, um... Should I actually read that word? Because it's a lie. Nice! She can be. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Someone please put this conversation out of its misery. I scramble for another topic, but nothing comes up. Matthew seems content to sit calmly while I finish my work. I'm done! I hold up a small mirror for Matthew. He glances at it briefly. Thank you for your excellent work. Please don't hit me! <laughs> Matthew stands and silently returns to the shooting area. I follow, trying hard not to look too confused. Madeline is currently scrutinizing my work. After several agonizing seconds, she nods her approval. Dale looks visibly relieved. I get the feeling she's a hard woman to please. Oh, so he's dating someone like his girlfriend. Mm. I mean, his mommy. Mm. Matthew takes his place in front of the camera and poses with a practice stance. Dale snaps a few photos and Matthew picks a new post. Unlike Adam, Matthew needs no coaching from Dale. Every move he makes is elegant and comfortable. He looks uncomfortable as hell! <laughs> the photo shoot proceeds quickly with a sense clothes. of learned efficiency. That's like his everyday clothes he's in. I know, but at least give him a new expression. I mean, or go to that topless picture or something where he has a different expression. This, he just looks like he's going, um, when is this going to be over? Madeline occasionally calls out commands, but Matthew carries most of the power himself. In front of the camera, he looks so calm and in control. Wow, he really is a professional. Dale lowers his camera. Take five. Matthew nods and leads the set. Oh, Madeline takes the opportunity to approach me. I love your work, honey. You're very talented for someone your age. Um, thanks? You can always say, No wonder Lloyd chose you to work on his show. That's very exciting, isn't it? You can always say, Yeah, lady, I'm a bit talented, but not talented enough to make you look young. <laughs> oh, burn! Burn! Photographers at the corner <laughs> laughing. Probably. She's had enough Botox to help with that. I decided not to mention that I only worked with Lloyd because he was desperate. If she's choosing to extend an olive branch, I'll take it. It was interesting. I heard they don't have a full cast for the show yet. Did Lloyd mention who was handling the casting? Oh, hopefully that didn't pop it up. It shouldn't. Okay. He hasn't said anything about it. Madeline purses her lips thoughtfully. Well, next time you see him, you might mention that Matthew is undergoing acting training. Ha! And there's the sales pitch. What did you expect? I shrug. Sure, next time I see him. 
when am I ever going to see him again? We uh, can make him the love interest of the, the girl. I can, we can't make him the love interest. Yeah. No, we can't. He's one of the other. He doesn't have a little screen thing. Matthew does. Oh, Matthew. Oh, no, no. Mama's yeah. boy cannot. Ah. Yeah. Madeline's expression resembles that of a satisfied cat that has finally put a mouse out of its misery. Oh, you are so sweet. Matthew returns and Madeline, Madeline immediately turns her attention back to him. Now she's scared, secured a promise from me, she ignores me for the rest of the photo shoot. Thank God. Honestly, the lack of attention comes as a relief. The photo shoot draws to a close and Madeline and Dale inspect the photos together. I return to the makeup station to gather my things and find Matthew there picking up bits of loose trash and throwing them away. Oh, hey, want some help with that? He turns to me and his face lights up red. N no, no, I can handle this. So it is the same guy I met at the mall. He begins to fiddle with his vest, absentmindedly buttoning and unbuttoning it. You must think I'm a terrible person. What? Huh? He casts his eyes towards the ceiling. Well, 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 but when I'm at work mode, I really get focused, you know? I do. Oh, right. Sorry. I didn't do anything offensive, did I? Oh, well, he has like two personalities. Maybe the other personality is a gropey machine. I mean, well, he didn't do anything freaking offensive. Weird, yeah, but not really offensive. Although, I don't know why you treated me like a stranger. Oh, Mom doesn't like it when I meet new people, especially girls. Uh. Mommy says I'm always going to be in her bed next to her all, all the time. <laughs> Mommy says I'll always be her special little boy. Every night, she whispers and cuddles next to me. Yes, you're- Oh, oh. <laughs> she thinks that they only tried to uh, use me. So I, th I kind of don't tell her about you. Didn't let you. Ah, well, I have a guess where his fear of women got from. What about your girlfriend? Nicole's an exception. Is she the daughter of a famous director or something? Yeah, that sounds like something that her mom would be fun with. His mom. What? No. Matthew frowns for a moment before a realization hits. She wanted. You to introduce me to the direct to a director, didn't she? Yeah, I don't know how to break it to you, but Lloyd's new show hasn't been greenlit yet. There's a good chance it won't even happen. That's okay. I like modeling, but I've never been all that interested in acting. Oh, good. That saves me a guilt trip or two. Matthew laughs. laughs. You feel guilty? Well, yeah, it's sort of like making a promise knowing I can't keep it. And I wouldn't want to get your hopes up for something I can't deliver. That's nice of you. You're really nice. So are you. Oh, thanks. Matthew, we're leaving now. A brief look of panic flashes across Matthew's eyes. God, he seems like he's abused. I have to go. Yeah, I know. Take care. You too. Dale approaches me as I watch Madeline lead her son out the door. Ah, congratulations. You survived. Boy, that's a lot more enthusiasm to those words than that face gives me. <laughs> it wasn't so bad. He sighs and fiddles with his camera. Madeline was a professional model for many she insists her children follow that path. And while I appreciate that she wants them to succeed, her stunning lack of trust in my skills is Hold on, great they need turn up her voices. And while I appreciate that she wants yeah. them there we to go. succeed, that's, that's her stunning lack of trust in my skills is grating. I think my connection with Lloyd mattered more to her than my actual abilities. Hey, if it gets her to like you, then it gets her to like you. It's not easy to impress Miss Midnight herself. A Midnight? Madeline Midnight, original face of the Midnight Cosmetics line. That was the original Midnight Girl? I use a lot of her products. I can't remember, that sounds like a streetwalker name. Miss Midnight? Yeah, or a horror <laughs> movie. 
You and every other professional in this city. Ready as we'll ever be, Nicole. What? He was the wrong one. <laughs> Go back, let's see here to get. You and every other professional in this city. Ready as we'll ever be, Nicole. That's kind of great because of expression. look at his expression. Go back one frame here. Go back yeah. one. You and, and then I watch his expression other change. Professional in this city. Ready as we'll ever be, Nicole. <laughs> Eyes glazed over. Anyway, good work today. Hope you don't mind if I call on you for future assignments. I'd be honored if you did. Just don't go creepy midnight eyes on me. Then I'll be seeing you around. Take care, Sean. Later. I keep forgetting her name, Sean. It's so weird. Wow. Today was a good work day. I earned 300 bucks. I find Benito at one of the tables playing absentmindedly with an empty coffee cup. Hey. He looks up and gives me a quick salute. Joe! What are you working on? Not sure yet. It seems like I should be able to take advantage of the space between the bottom of the cup and the table. He turns the cup a few times over in his hand and finally sets it aside. It'll do come to me. He reaches into his pocket and brings out a few worn bills. Here's your payment for a job well done. I got them from my G-string. <laughs> I set the money from him and count it out quickly. Um, $75? Are you sure? I mean, you were working for free, weren't you? There were still the tips, and I promise is a promise. And if it makes you feel that bad, consider it in advance. They want you back? Not very much so. I got offered a regular gig. Congratulations, you're moving up in the world. Benito casually brushes off the comment. It's a start. Pay is merely decent. The biggest benefit of having a captive audience with a high turnover rate. Good way to reach a lot of people across the country. So it is a worthwhile trade-off. Sounds like you've got you've thought this through. He nods and absentmindedly returns to fiddling with the coffee cup. It's one of several scenarios I've plotted for my career. You plan this? Not precisely. I considered it a possibility, and I planned what I'd do if it came to pass. So what's the big plan, then? To meet as many people as possible. Target the ones who look like their media or social organizers. To continue to work the streets and expand opportunities. Work those streets, boy! Work. My last name is not the Midnight. I do not work those streets that way. In other words, keep working. Don't slow down. Well, that actually works with the previous comment you made. Don't slow down. Keep on working, baby. Trust that crotch. <laughs> he nods, pleased with himself. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Everything is alright on schedule. I don't know when they'll want to be back next, but I'll contact you. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Where would I like to go? Oh, I have to go someplace? Yeah. You chose to go out, I think. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I guess the faux place. Buy a full bowl of soup, 10. Or, never mind. Lower my fatigue. Okay, let's lower your fatigue. Alright, 14. Oh, that was a big chunk of fatigue, too, anymore. Yeah, it's better than sleeping. Um, can I call Matt? Nope. His mommy probably screens his calls anyway. I have another photo shoot for Midnight Cosmetics next week, Thursday morning. Please reply if you can be there. Um, okay. I will be there. Thank you for thinking of Message board. Oh, wait, there's one on red? Yeah, very top. Oh, that's my re. Excellent, thank you. Oh. He replied right away. He's like waiting with bated breath at his computer. <laughs> she replied. Thank you. Um, log out. I need to use my item. Makeup. Um, 
plain toast. Wonders of light. So I can talk to him. Oh, that took away fatigue. <laughs>